All right, interesting question here. Mm -hmm. How much is a barn for police horses worth? It's a question with which Alderman and Hendersonville have been grappling. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, the answer is not so simple. For any police officer, getting ready for patrol requires preparation. But for Jeff Duran and John Newbury, getting their horses, Sonny and Rango, ready for theirs takes a little extra effort. These are two of four of Hendersonville's mounted police unit. We do have a mounted police force. Um, we are a full-time unit. We ride uh, every day. We cover the walking trails that are all through town. The major portion of town is covered with walking trails. They cover apartment complexes, parks, shops, longtime fixtures in the city. However, these horses don't have a permanent home themselves. We have to work out deals with, with private individuals to uh, allow us to stay for a time on, on their, in their barns, in their property. And uh, we've had to move a few times um, throughout the years. So we've been a full-time unit since 2008. City aldermen have been trying to provide the horses with a place to stay that's owned by the city. They set aside $125,000 to do so. Then they had a plan put together. That plan increased the estimated cost to $500,000, which raised some red flags. When I initially heard that $500,000 number, it was alarming. Matt Moynihan was concerned about the half million dollar price tag. My concern as a taxpaying citizen is, you know, what, what are wise uses of, of our tax dollars and making sure that while we want an adequate facility to house our mounted patrol units, uh, is it overkill to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a horse barn? The updated plan would have included not just a place to keep the horses, but also a facility to help educate Hendersonville youth and potentially train other mounted patrols. But the board says that's simply too much money, so they've decided to go back to the $125,000 plan. Well, we'd like to just provide a safe, secure, location for the horses, um, a place that uh, uh, we can, you know, keep them warm and dry and uh, in a safe location, a place where we can do some training with them and uh, work with them on a daily basis. In Hendersonville, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. City engineers have gone back to the drawing board. They say the next design will include stalls, a place to feed and clean the horses, and the beginnings of an office, but the rest of the improvements will have to happen later.